Thank you very much. And welcome to what we call, we call it the wonderful world of the Wahahaha man. A man that not sometime, but all the time tell it like it shown of his. A man that's going to shock some of you with nothing but words and the two young ladies in the front row already sure shocked them. Didn't say anything nasty, didn't say anything dirty, but I shocked the lady. Reason why? She never seen me in person, but she heard about the black man that talked so nasty, talked so dirty. When I walked on stage, shocked, because she'd pictured me as looking real, real different. She had pictured me as being some big, black, greasy, ugly motherfucker. <laughs> as a matter of fact, she thought that nigga was wild man still. <laughs> Use the word motherfucker. The only nice to word I said, only said it one, one time. Motherfucker. One woman kind of turned around, looked at her friend and said, why? Why bring me in here to have a nigga talk nasty, nasty, and dirty like that? And you get the same bitch out in the car. She'll eat up every goddamn thing but the steering wheel. <laughs> Suck a dick to death. <laughs> Give your son the best head you ever had in your life. Have you hollered and screaming and then turn around and tell what we call the New York lie. It's not where I'm come from down south lie. It's a New York lie. Suck your dick to death and then turn around and look at you and say, first time ever did anything like that. <laughs> How in the hell are you going to be a champ the first goddamn time? Lord knows you have to have a dick to practice on. But I love New York. And some might say he loves New York because he makes a lot of money here. It's true I make money here, but it's also true I'm from down south. And my name is Wild Man Steve and the Lord has blessed me. I make money any motherfucking way. <laughs> I love New York because of one reason. Not two, three, four, five, six, seven. I love New York because of one reason. Just one. I love New York because in my opinion, my opinion, the women in New York got some of the best pussy in the world. <laughs> Lord knows the pussy's good. Pussy's so goddamn good in New York. Women fucking each other, goddamn. <laughs> and one, and one bald-headed nigga laughing his ass off, don't even know his woman getting more pussy than that motherfucker gets. <laughs> Not the reason why I'm so crazy about him. If they decide to give you some of the good stuff, not the way to give it to you. They don't beg, beg you for no money. The only type of nigga in New York City that they have to pay for pussy is a brother. <laughs> Wearing a checkerboard coat that cannot fuck. <laughs> and he looking at me, don't get mad, talking about I can fuck, but the bitch charged me for the pussy. Brother, she didn't charge you for the pussy because you cannot fuck. She charged you for wasting her goddamn time. <laughs> Never had a woman in the city beg me for no money, but had one make me a proposition. Listen to it. She said, Steve, I'm going to give you the good stuff. No, to would give it to you. But if the pussy is good. I want you to buy me a pair of shoes. <laughs> See, that's all you want? You live in Brooklyn. Don't you want no fried chicken? <laughs> Women in Brooklyn love fried chicken. Get them a box of chicken wings, six pack of beer, nickel bag of reefer, and you can fuck them all night long. If you thought I hit a cocaine, if you thought I hit a cocaine, the bitch never will go home. And if you give her some crack, she can't find a way home. She said, no, Steve, I don't want no reefer, I don't want no cocaine, but if the pussy's good, buy me a pair of shoes. And she gave Steve the pussy. That old Lord, Lord knows that pussy was good. Didn't tell him it was good because of one reason. I was too cheap to buy them goddamn shoes. She knew it was good. Oh, yeah, she knew it was good. And young girls like you might look at me and say, Steve, how, how did she know if you didn't tell her? I didn't have to tell her. I 
do it. Oh, I'll make us do when they get a good piece of pussy. I went to sleep, goddamn. <laughs> good pussy will put a nigga to sleep. Any woman sitting up here right now fucking a nigga and he don't ever go to sleep? Bitch, you ain't fucking that nigga right. When you start talking about good pussy and you start talking about fucking white women, white women look at me and, and they always tell you, niggas can fuck. Black men are great in bed. White woman hit on me last night and said, why, how, man, I'll give you $50 if you knock me out. I fucked her three times and then I hit her in the head with a brick. I'd have shot the bitch if I'd been promised $100. No white woman, married nigga say he gonna tear the pussy up morning and night. And morning and night the brother did what all brothers do. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Four nights in a row he slept. The fifth night she went to bed naked, looking good and smelling good. Slept the long cock at four o'clock in the morning. She hunched, she said, Rufus, Rufus, would you like to have some of the best stuff in the world? Rufus looked around and said, who in the fuck is cooking chitlin this time of morning? <laughs> I came down to the black brothers one time after the test tube baby situation. The first time around there was no identification with the man, but the second time around they identified with three men. An Italian man, a Jewish man, and a black man. First night she goes to bed with the Italian fellow. She said, if I have a baby for you, what shall I name him? The Italian fellow said, name him Christopher Luigi. Next night she goes to bed with the Jewish fella. She said, if I have a baby for you, what shall I name him? The Jewish fella said, name him Herman Goldberg. And the last night she goes to bed with the brother. And girls, you know how it is. When you're nicer, give a nigga the sample of the pussy. The greedy motherfucker try to put another hole in the pussy. That's why I tell young girls like you, when you're fucking a nigga, never go to sleep with your mouth wide open. Put a pillow on your ass and your hands on the ears. And the next morning she woke up, look at that big, dick, hard fucking brother. She said, oh, 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 oh. If I have a baby for you, what shall I name him? Brother looked around and said, name him. Name him. Name him. Brother snatched the rub off his dick, tied it in a knot, threw it up against the wall, said, that motherfucker get out of that. Call him Hercules. <laughs> and my dick said, show you right. <laughs> Just remember this, the dick might have a head, but it don't have a brain. Without a brain, Mike Tyson wouldn't be in jail tonight. Good night, everybody.